welcome back to my channel so after the last video a lot of people have been asking me how to actually find Wyckoff so if you're studying Wyckoff and you kind of understand um, liquidity and double bottoms and that there's going to be a spring to take out the liquidity how to even find that setup obviously before it happens so what I tell people is all you can really do or like as you guys probably can see by my style I simplify things all you can really do is define your double bottoms and what I mean by define is just look for your equal lows and your equal highs so for example here on AUD CAD um, obviously we're back testing right now but all I would literally do is mark my double bottoms or equal lows and go from there so here wick to wick here here and this is the one hour you can do it on any time frame um, you can do it from top down first pretty much the same thing you can go back even further so let me just go back to the one hour okay cool so you just define your double bottoms so when you're in real time because it's all cool and fun to study back test etc but sometimes it's hard to find in real time so this is an actual setup i had i'm going to use the replay mode so for example if i was here i would again while this is happening i would put this here so once um there's a little bit of imbalance there so technically even like this could really be a spring so imbalance plus um kind of a low right here mostly got most likely gonna get filled and go up but we're not really talking about imbalance talking about liquidity slash Wyckoff so let's say I'm here everything is looking good so I'm noticing here maybe here one thing you have to do is just draw a lot of things and see if it works okay so even right here I'm like hmm there should be liquidity underneath here liquidity underneath here even if I go to lower time frames, you can kind of definitely see this double bottom liquidity area. Right? So literally, guys, when this happens, all I do is use a ray so I can go longer and literally just set an alert. So oh, I'm in replay mode. On the alert, I would literally put double bottoms or liquidity so now in order for that alert to go off I'm on the 30 minute that's why it's taking so long let me put it back to the one hour okay so my alert would go off boom so now I'd see this taking out liquidity okay so let me just go down to 30 for fun Press play. Okay, cool. So here we're gonna break a structure. And we also get an imbalance fill. Okay, so you could have sold off of that. I believe this still goes up. But again, let's focus on Wyckoff. And just see how this plays out. So even within there, again, say this happens, I get to fill. I find a balance, boom, that gets filled again. Actually gets double tested here, off the 50% it looks like. Something like that. And voila, it runs off. Okay, finish. How do I make it finish? Oh, exit replay mode. Okay, so where am I? This right here is some Wyckoff as well as this. Okay, so Wyckoff slash capturing liquidity. So all you can really do is to predict this is to find equal lows 
sorry, equal lows and equal highs. So now let's go, where are we? Here. So honestly, here you don't really get a break of structure. There's no break of structure until here. We're still barely breaking that structure. I'm just trying to find a realistic entry, and if there is none, there is none. Like, if you would have missed this. Oh, there it is. Okay. <clears throat> so, okay, so let's go to replay mode again. So, we have the double bottom. Our alert goes off. When do we jump in? So, we're sitting here watching this happen. So, now, we're looking for it to slightly start coming back up, and maybe we'll hopefully break some type of structure. What are we on the 15? Okay. Boom. 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 Looking for it to break one of those. So play, play, boom. Whoop. Okay. So this doesn't even break structure at all. So that's invalid. However, if we do notice, like what you're doing is looking for a reason. It doesn't have to be just break a structure. It can be break a structure or imbalance bill. So boom, it comes back down to this area, tests it one more time. You could have entered here. Stop loss below the low. What's that? 6.1? Whoa. Where's my high? I don't know. Let me check. And yeah, so that's what an entry would look like. Let's play out. How do I okay, exit replay mode? Da 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 da. That's your entry coming up to this imbalance fill. So that is a dun -dun -dun -dun. Nine to one ratio. Okay, so hopefully that helps. So I'm gonna go over it quickly one more time. So all you're doing, step one, identify double bottoms. Step two is to put an alert on that double bottom. So this is the spring, but where do you enter, right? So once your double bottom breaks and you get that wick or spring, because this spring didn't even come and fill in this imbalance completely. So you're getting your spring. Three, you're gonna look for either a break of structure or a retracement to fill. So we got that. We did not get a break of structure. Wait, spring, yeah, we didn't get a break of structure here. But we did get a fill here of imbalance. Set your risk to reward, ride it up to your take profit, boom. If I didn't get this, I'd also look to enter off of 50% of this. I think this area is still valid. Uh, not really, it's kind of far back. But yes, I would have found to see if I forgot a spring here, especially if you look at that too, like even with right here, it's equal low. So it's actually kind of surprising that you didn't get a, another spring down. But yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. Hopefully that helps with entries on Wyckoff or how to identify it before it actually happens. If you guys have any more questions, leave them in the comment box and be as detailed as possible. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.